Action. Mary. Action. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers to that. You were like really deep in your meditation today. Super deep into it. Today's a very, very exciting day. We've teased you for a while, mm -hmm. but today is the day. We're very excited. We're going to get even deeper today because we have our very favorite, mm -hmm. Antigone, who is a fifth generation clairvoyant consultant, okay? She's our girl, and uh, we're really excited. Are you excited? I'm really excited. So let's do it. Okay, ready? One, two, two three. Antigone, please have some coconut water. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Cheers. Cheers to you being here. Yes, cheers to that, lady. That's right. Cheers to that. Cheers to you. Mm. So tell everyone what that means. Clairvoyant consultant, intuitive, clairvoyant, what does that mean? Well, I am a fifth generation intuitive. I have gifts and abilities to help people see and hear and feel and know, whether it's with tarot cards, mm. astrology, numerology, interpreting their dreams, as well as past lives. Okay. And mediumship. Wow. My favorite thing to do is to help people with love. Oh, well, you're in the right place for that. <laughs> so how long, okay, so how, when did this start? Because you said you're fifth generation, yes. so, you know, you Well, background. Yeah. So it's been in my family for five generations. Mm -hmm beginning with my great-great-grandmother that we trace everything back to from Greece. Wow. And it, I'm sorry, I'm just spacing for a second. It's okay. Keep on going. <laughs> okay, great. So what ends up happening is if I'm with someone energetically, I can see into their aura, and we can take a look at what's going on right then and there, or if there's something or someone from the past that's trying to connect with them. In particular... If they've had past lives as generals, queens, kings, whether it's peasant or whether it's pageantry, wow. it's whatever it is that they need assistance with that's going to help release the blocks of their lives. And then also, are there past life karma situations with the people they're dating or they're in love with right now? Hmm. This is very exciting. This is very fascinating. Okay. So, you guys are in for a real big treat. Should we go to the questions? Let's do the or questions. Do, yeah? Let's do the questions. Yeah, this is cheers to that. Let's answer some questions. You ready? Right. Yes, All absolutely. Right. So if you okay. just feel free to chime in and give your opinion. If you feel anything for these people, just let us know. Let it all, all out. Right. Okay. okay, so this one comes. It um, We're keeping the name private. This came via our BFAB at Fabulous on a Budget email. Um, but he's also commented a bunch of times. So this says, so I'm gay and I'm in grade 10. One of my best friends, he's a guy, is always saying I'm like his brother whenever whenever I get a boyfriend. He hates them right off the bat. Last week he kissed me. I have asked him what is up and he keeps giving me the runaround and I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. I think I might have feelings for him, but I don't know. Help. First mm. of all, you got to go back and watch the episode which was entitled When a guy tells you he's like your sister or brother in this <laughs> right. case. Yeah. Um, he likes you. Clearly. He kissed you. He's mad whenever you get a boyfriend. And you like him. So, I mean, I don't know. What about just experimenting? Well, I think that what's happening is there's there's some past life energies going on between the two boys, quite frankly. And so, whatever that tension is, it needs to be explored. It almost sounds like he's a little afraid to really come out with who I and agree. what he is. Yeah. Uh -huh. And there's... At that age, there's such a delicate, you know, it's a delicate place to be. You're in high school. Do his parents even know that he's, you know, that he's Great. gay? Because if he's not and he's still hiding out, but you're the one who's open and showing, you know, who you really are, there might need to be a conversation about it discreetly in a way so that everybody feels safe and comfortable and just talk to him. And if he still is pushing it off, you might need to reevaluate that kind of friendship, if you want to have that in your life, because no one wants to be with someone who's unavailable to them. In any way, whether mm -hmm. that's emotionally or physically or whatever. That's right. And you deserve love. You deserve love. You deserve love. That's right. God, this is so profound. I mean, it's so it's so profound, but then it's like I go back to, like, he's 13. Like, at 13, I don't know if I was really ready for love. I don't know. Well, some of the, those crushes and the hormones and everything that's going on are really intense, but... 
let's not forget there's that past life element too mm. so if you've got something going on that's older than time and even though in the physical chronology of who you are whatever your age oh. is right now remember your soul is ageless so if you're remembering Eternal. and you're connecting with someone that you have recognition from they may not have it for you as of yet it's also